friends in this video we will learn about analysis of the data in economics in which the different topics are included like meaning and types of graph meaning and types of diagram importance of graph or diagram things considered while drawing the chart computer technology in economics internet technology in economics and cds in economics let's see introduction economics explain and analyze by the various economic event occurring in the world all the economic event measured by the statistical data and data is also helpful in the graph or to present the chart to understand the economic problem or the event there are two type of methods are used in form of diagram and graph here we learn about its detail meaning of graph and its types representation of observable data by the way of picture is known as graph or to represent the given statistical data in the picture form is known as graph when given information are presented with a continuous frequency distribution then graph is drawn and types of graph there are different types of graph like time series graph graph for the continuous frequency distribution histogram frequency polygon frequency curve cumulative frequency polygon logarithm graphs meaning of diagram and its types representation of the observable data by the way of picture is known as diagram or to represent the given statistical data in the picture form is known as diagram but here information are presented in the diagram is discrete frequency distribution then diagram is drawn mostly the diagram is used by the company for the publish showing the different advertisement purpose and awareness in the public sometimes government also issue the diagram for the public awareness the various types of diagram like pictogram scatter diagram line diagram which is based on the time duration or period circle diagram bar diagram and pie diagram let's see importance of the graph or diagram with the help of graph or diagram to make the study in easy way for difficult things to understand the different important factors of economy easily to understand the changes in economics to save the time to know quickly and explain to on educated easily to know about the principle of economy and the theory also just like relation between price and demand relation between price and supply to make the comparison between two or more than two information and it is also helpful for the government public awareness and it is also helpful for the advertisement purpose by the company those all are the benefits of graph or diagram number of things you should consider while drawing the graph all the things are mentioned just like information on the both axes there are two different type of axes on the graph or a diagram x axis and y axis on x axis time place and sector is described on y axis different variables have been described just like population production import exports etc select the correct scale measurement Scale measurement is that which cover the smallest and largest information. If scale measurement is small, then graph size will be big and vice versa. Then every person have to decide the proper scale measurement so every data can be easily accumulated with the one graph. Size of graph. Size of graph always be a proper. The not should be a moreover means longer or a shorter. because it will create the misunderstanding selection of graph for the same type of information bar graph is important for two type of information for a comparison uh, that cluster bar diagram is helpful or more than two type of information have been shown in a pie chart or divisible bar diagram percentage and percentage ratio percentage represent the data in context of 100 the percentage ratio presentation the difference between two percentage data it called as a percentage ratio as per example two data of population two data of education the difference between both is known as percentage 
ratio use of related information the presentation can be made more logical by using all the available relevant information example according to nss according to cso according to world bank with the help of these line or this matter clarification of the data can be described method of calculating the data when the picture is not drawn from self explanatory data but it is drawn from the various data simplified with the statistics formula then appropriate statistical method can be used briefly and proper calculation of data is required clarity a picture must look a neat and clear different color or shade may be used to denote the various components of the picture so graph would be in a clear manner so all are the things you have to keep in your mind while preparing the charts computer technology in economics means the use of computer technology in economics nowadays the era is modern and digital with the help of this era in this era there is a compulsory requirement to know about the proper knowledge of a computer and computer technology is also helpful for the purpose of economic study let's see its merits for the presentation with the help of computer technology we can prepare a proper presentation and it is also helpful to understand the theories of economy and various graph it is also helpful for quick understanding and easy learning another excel worksheet excel oriented benefits is also derived in the economics because with the help of excel sheet we have prepared the various data and also prepared the graph and chart so computer technology also helpful to give us the benefits of excel worksheet and we would like to prepare the proper data sheets diagram and graph with the help of this excel worksheet it can be easily converted into the selected graph whatever we selected so with the help of computer technology all the data can be represented by proper diagram and graph storage tools in computer number of matters is to be diversified but number of points are connected as in a storage material or the storage tool computer is also working by the storage tools because number of information we can easily store in the different application or a different icon by transferring into the email dropbox google drive digi locker those all are the different applications where we can access the material and any part of the material can be obtaining at any where other tools statistical programs like spss shazams eviews sas etc are also developed for data processing of the lakhs of observation in a minute by entering the right formula this is also helpful for the research and innovative process for the economical matter so by this way computer technology become most helpful for understand the economic matter limitations or the demerits computer is not educational tool but it's a machine computer technology makes study easy but it cannot be used as an a substitute tool of study if persons are not aware with the computer program then information getting through computer become wrong sometimes there is a problem for maintain the data sometimes it's hide or delete by folding transaction number second internet technology in economics nowadays economics is also helpful to understood in a proper manner through internet technology let's see the different merits of internet technology with the help of internet technology we can achieve the benefits of tutorial just like some educational websites put the powerpoint presentation and study material along with the worksheets and the open access link we can view such presentation as in a tutorial second is active learning some video lectures of the various experts can be easily available on open access sites by various educational institutions some institutions create the live class available to the students with the help of this way we can get the benefits of the experts lecture through active learning information by merely the searching we can get the different informations of the university offering the degree in economics and related with the economic subject reading material 
Numerous ebooks are also available on the online by internet and we can get it on free of cost. Free of cost it can be downloading and we get the proper knowledge regarding the topic. Number of articles, books and journals can be accessed by online. Miscellaneous, we can get the various quotes by the various economists, name of reference books and other information relevant with the economics by search engine. Data, mainly intentions of economics to store and evaluate the data. For that purpose, internet is superior and one of the best tool for getting the information regarding the different data. Because various institutions like CSO, NSSO, WHO, UNO, CMIE, ILO, IMF, World Bank, number of institutes. Even if World Bank as well as Reserve Bank of India publish their all surveys on their websites. Through this way, we can collect the data easily and make the proper analysis of our economy. So by this way, internet technology is most benefited. But some demerits of internet technology is also that Internet cannot replace the books and teachers or our own thinking and reasoning. A lots of substandard material, irrelevant information, misleading information are found on internet which diverts the students on a wrong way. Readers must have the wisdom or identify the authentic material on internet. On internet lots of websites describe the wrong information and create misleadings. Let's see the CD's importance in economics. Number of fields at where every data can be stored in the CDs, just like laboratories, research center, government agencies, those all are the different institutions use CD for accumulations of the various data. Uses of the compact disc, CD of the national income accounts of India, CD of census of India, CD of data pertaining of the ministry in India which are provided by the statistical department of representative ministers or respective ministries sorry. Some agencies like CMI means center for monitoring Indian economy also create the data software which can be purchased only by research institutes and co corporations. CD of annual survey of industries in India, CD of NSSO national sample survey organization. Limitation of CD Since the data of CDs and software contain a huge size of data, this become complicated to use. Sometimes to understand information, knowledge of software is required. By this way, CD have some limitation, even if CD have a limited capacity for the storage. So, economics is most helpful with the help of this digital media and digital tools for learning and understanding. Thanks for joining with us. Have a nice day.